Hello, this video will, uh, is, we are still in iteration 5, which is the required part of the project. But I thought to do some final touches to uh, make sure that we uh, tighten all the loose ends on this project so far, and we have a few. First, I completed the, um, the addition of the other units, um, and uh, in the previous video, we, we've done the feet, uh, converting from feet to all units, inch to all units. Now I added the mile to all units, the meter to all units, and kilometer to all units. And now I have supposedly all my um, units that will be dis that are displayed in the picker view, working and functioning. Uh, let's take a look at few pieces here. Uh, we had an issue with the keyboard not being displayed and that is um, an issue with the uh, simulator if you go to the hardware on the simulator and go to keyboard you can toggle the software uh, keyboard so if you toggle the software keyboard it's not gonna work so my case was off for some reason so now the keyboard comes and is displayed in the simulator that would there was a simulator issue it was not um, an issue with our uh, project or our code uh, so if we type in or enter a number 10, you can convert from any unit to any unit and everything will work fine and you get some uh, result and in the testing, these are the correct results so you can now convert comfortably from anything to anything and uh, be able to see uh, results there. Alright, now however if because there is a button here, meaning that the user can convert, if the user click the button first before clicking on something in here, like this, um, we get an exception. Uh, an exception meaning an error. Here the error here says that um, unexpectedly found nil while unwrapping optional value. So here in the conversion from the string to a number, it takes the string from the text amount and try to convert that string to a number. Because the string, the text field had nothing, in this case, the text field had nothing, the amount is nil. And when the amount is nil, and you can uh, see that, I think, when the amount is nil, accessing nil it's a non-existent there's no text in the text field it's not like there's an empty text no there is no text when there's no text and trying to convert that to a number it comes back with this uh, problem that there's an error so how can we make sure that if this string if the user does not enter anything here that our app does not crash you can do that with multiple ways you can Make sure that the button is not active uh, or that, but the, you have also the scrolling, which we will implement in the extra credit. So the proper way is to make sure that we are not really doing any conversion unless there is an amount in the string. So how do we do that? We come here in the string and check to see before we do anything, any of those remaining steps, all of this is not really going to work if there is no amount to start with. It's the same goes with the picker view, but the picker view is safe. Why? Because the user is not entering a picker view. The user is selecting from items that we provided. But the things where the user will enter freehand, we don't really have a control of what they do. So what we can come here and say if and compare the amount as a string, compare that to the nil value which means that there is nothing in here. If there is nothing in here, if that is true, or I mean, we don't want to do nothing, we want to say if it is not nil, so this is the not equal operator, the other ones are the equal, this is the not equal, so I'm saying if the amount as a string is not equal nil, meaning that it exists, if that is true, then enclose everything in here, everything in that true statement of the if. So if to make it look like reasonable, let me select everything. 
which will be everything except the last quotation, the last uh, curly brace which closes the class, the one before it which closes the function, and the other one which is everything that takes a place as a result of the conversion. So let me push this to the side. So if I right click here, I can shift everything to the right. So shift to the right, it moves everything to the right and close that with a closing parenthesis. So if I click on the closing parenthesis, it tells you it closes this. When you click on any parenthesis, it highlight or curly brace, it highlights the closing one. So you can know for sure, especially in cases like this, you have plenty of them you will know for sure what they are. You can also fold from the side, which sometimes very helpful uh, to make you see the code in, uh, like uh, for instance, in this if statement, uh, you can close that small or you can close the larger one here. So the if statement from feet, you can uh, see it um, and close the stuff so you can uh, see the code uh, as one way. So now, if uh, you do this, the app will not crash if the user hit convert first before doing uh, anything. So that did not uh, work in here. Uh, the amount as a string was not null. So it said that the amount of a string is empty uh, so it is empty string so let's say not equal the empty string yeah so it is equate so it is actually a string there is a string but that string is empty so it's generating uh, an error here with the null. So now when you click without anything, the app is not crashing. If you enter something, then the app will work and give you a conversion. The other thing that we want to do in the final touches here, and I'm going to close all this conversion. I'm going to fold it. So here is our conversion function. We retrieve the string. We check if the string is not empty, then we do the conversion, which is folded in here. Once the conversion is done, notice that the keyboard doesn't go away. So we need to dismiss the keyboard. So I had step 5 was the last one, so I come here in step 6 and say dismiss the keyboard. And the keyboard is dismissed by, uh, we said that the operating system gives the app the keyboard, when the user gives the focus to the text field. So we just, the text field need to declare back to the operating system that I am done. And the text field can do that by saying uh, resign first responder. This resign first responder uh, function informs the operating system that the text field no longer wants the keyboard so the operating system takes back the keyboard. So let's try that. The 10. And then convert. So now with the conversion, the last step is the text amount doesn't want the keyboard, so the keyboard uh, goes away. The last piece in the final touch is the uh, launch screen. Uh, either clean up the launch screen and do something in there, or uh, do as I did here, coming to the launch screen file in the configuration. And I'm just going to make my main screen to be the launch screen. So I don't have to wait for that uh, launch screen. Um, this uh, message coming for the decimal pad, I don't think it is uh, causing any issue. But if you don't like it, we can change the key. Um, and it's actually you either investigate, see why it is doing this, or we can change to the default or to a number and punctuation keyboard, which it's not going to show that uh, message. So now with this final touches, the required part of this project is complete. In the next video, we'll do the extra credit part, which is doing the conversion on the uh, selection of the, on the selection of uh, the, uh, like here I made a selection, which is an event, will capture that event and perform the conversion based on that. 
Likewise, when the user hit the done on the keyboard, you notice nothing is happening on the done. So we want to activate that one as well, and that will be an extra credit part for the project.